while since I uh, said jerked off at work, so <laughs> so I ended that ended that last week. Up and did it twice. I know what you're thinking. Not a record. Not a record. Only tied. Um, oh fuck! I forgot I drew. Yeah, hey, that's my boss over there. Should not have invited him here. That's just a joke, man. That's uh. I do that for, just do, I'm doing jokes, man. So I started doing stand-up comedy. I haven't told the guys about it. Uh, invited my boss to a set the other night and told this joke about uh, jerking off at work. And I think it may have backfired. Hey, Quinn, in my office now. Quinn, I've been looking through your numbers the last hour. When was the last time you even made a sale? I mean, do you just sit here, watch porn all day? I mean, what do you do? What do you mean? I've been pushing loads from here to El Paso all month. Pushing loads? Yeah, you have been pushing loads. You jerked off in the bathroom, you pushed a load on the floor. Okay, you're fired. I mean, you are fired. Not only are you fired, we'd sue you. We want to sue you, but you don't have a dime. What's the point? It's a waste of attorney's fees. These guys moved in with me, I gave them a cheap rate on the rent. They joined my production crew, but they haven't really been paying me much. Big Time Productions is a little slow around here, and I gotta start making payments on the house. Otherwise, we're gonna get kicked out by the bank. Hello? Yeah, Sean? Now, I don't even want to hear you say anything. It's your manager. I have a lot to fucking get off my chest right now. You need to change your image yeah. right now, or this I'm dropping you as a client. No, I'm... You're not making any money, which makes me no money. 20% of nothing is nothing. You're walking around in tank tops and beanies 24-7 like it's, like it's 1999. You look like a douchebag. All I'm trying to do is help you out. You're doing nothing for me. She's right. I do need to change my image. Look at me. I'm pathetic. No one looks like this anymore. I know exactly what to do. Beanie, we've had a good run. It's time for me to grow up. Mail's here. Let me guess, some big time bills for big time productions. Oh, we got bills. Wingear, always the bearer of bad news. William Bombay, strong dongs and buff muffs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Jacob Nickelback, round and brown. Oh. Com. This must be the wrong address. Yeah, probably not. Sean Stewartson, Dragon Ball Quiz. I don't know. I'm not sure what that one is. Nah. All right, all right. Hey, wait a minute. What are you, what are you hiding under that shirt besides fat rolls and disappointment? Hand them over, fat boy. We don't see these. What do we got? Bust a nut in grandma's butt.com. Classy. We got another one here. Trannygrannies.org. You are disgusting, Quinn. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I can't pay these bills. I busted my strong hand on the heavy bag the other day. I can't fight for four to six weeks. I don't know how I'm gonna get by. I know what you mean, man. YouTube decided they're not gonna pay their top performer for sending millions of hot teen chicks to their website every month. <laughs> At least we've got the real breadwinner sitting right in front of us, Mr. Quinn Garrett, best steel salesman of all of Southern California. About that. Um, so I'm strolling into work today, pretty normal day, and uh, Drew rolls up in his XJ, looking in his mirror like, yeah, I'm the fucking man. Gets out. Ooh, Mr. Garrett, you're 
you're looking too good lately, walking around the office with your hair slicked back. Was, oh, and uh, you've been killing it way too much these last two months. I can't get a fucking deal because you are too good. Like, that doesn't even make sense. And then he goes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to fire you because I'm a fucking douchebag and I got a small dick. You got fired from your job from being too good looking? I mean, yeah, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be fine. Jack, right? We'll be... No, Quinn. It's not gonna be great. First century, doing something mean to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen. Do it. Screams from the haters. Got a nice ring to it. I guess every superhero. What the hell are you wearing? Is that a skirt? I'm not gonna apologize for being the only person in this house that keeps up with modern fashion. Okay? Guerrera Guerrera. Fran Boylan. Flooper for Shay. Jocko Canadio, that boy, Justin Clough. I mean, who the fuck are you guys wearing? This is a $50,000 outfit. $50,000? How do you afford that? Just shipped off a couple of vinyl paintings in my collections in Silver Lake. I'm rolling in it. What a douchebag. Things are really going well for our resident hipster artist, Jimes. I've never heard of any of those designers, but he was looking like a million bucks. Clearly he knows something we don't, so I'm gonna go ask him, try and get his secrets. He'll probably level with me. We're on the same frequency. Hey, Jimes, you mind if I come in? Proceed. Okay, okay. Um, Jimes, need a little help. We're running out of money, and we're about to lose the house. We need to make some money off our art. I need some advice. You want my advice, Jake? Yes, please. Smoke some weed. Oh. Okay. I don't know where to get weed in this town, but... Well, actually, matter of fact, I've never even smoked weed. But how hard could it be? This is California. Siri, give me directions to the closest weed store. Directions to the weed store. Start out heading north on the 101. Unless you want to try Laurel Canyon. Fuck it. You might want to just cruise over to the PCH and really hang loose. Definitely avoid the 170 because that's always jammed right around now. Super naggy vibes on the 405. Travel to Jill ratio is gonna be way out of whack. Alternatively, you could check the scene on the 10. Probably pretty chill vibes. I mean, I don't know, man. Good luck. <laughs> Ding, 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 you found the weed store. But hey, man, looks like you only smoke the good. Well, I got the best over here, the best price. Just come with me, okay. man. Okay. Right over here. All right. Yeah, All right. I don't know what it is. There's something about me. I'm a great businessman. Yo, man, I don't know what you're looking for, but I've literally got all the heads. I've got some of that Stephen Hawking. I also have some of that Michael J. Fox. Or, I also have some of that... I'm not... What was that last? Dude, that's that Helen Keller. Leaves you like... Sure. Well, I'm just looking for plain old pot. Do you just have any of that? Well, I do have this. Oh, is this, is this weed? Pretty much. Well, I'm, will I get high? Dude, you won't die. No, no, no. Will I get high? Oh, dude, man. You'll get fucking high, dude. Great. This is gonna be great. Thanks. What a character. Real nice guy, though. 
I'll say this, the people out in California are sure a lot different than back home in Milwaukee. I can't wait to get home and smoke up with the guys. Guys, I think it's time that I come clean on something here. I know I look like a director and it must come off that way, but I've never held a camera before. <laughs> Guys, I know you probably think Billy Bombay, he's a badass. He beats people up. But uh, the truth is, I've never been in a fight before. And uh, I was afraid to fight Tom Green. <laughs> so I faked an injury, guys. This isn't a real cast. Actually, it's just, it's just a towel. I gotta be honest, I mean, you guys look at me like a rock star. <laughs> Truth is, I've been deceiving you guys. Been buying views. <laughs> I said it. Even your Gavin video, dude? You do what you gotta do to get the chicks. Hey. <laughs> Never made one steel sale. I part time live with my mother and I've never had sex with a woman. Guys, I know, like, seems like I've been doing really well lately, like, all my fashion's on point. But uh, I have to confess, I've never sold any of my art to anybody. The whole collectors in Silver Lake, that's a big lie. I don't even know where Silver Lake is, it just sounds like a place that's really cool. I'm dead broke, just like you guys. You're dead broke? Why were you telling us you're rich? I just wanted you to go buy some weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you guys. I love you, man. My brothers, I, I, I love you guys so much. I've never had brothers. We might not be real artists, guys, but we're real friends. Super posy vibes right now, guys. But let's take it to the next level. I have the best idea. What's up, YouTube? It's Stewartson. So psyched for tonight's cover, so I'm just gonna get right into it. I was gonna pay the Never sent the check because I got high. Now la, 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 la. I can't pay the rent, and I know why. Why, man? Because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. Thank you so much, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, like me on Facebook, cause I could really use it right now. I can't pay rent. Good night, YouTube. All in all, I'm really happy with how today went. And I realized something today. Our biggest problem wasn't that we were broke. Our biggest problem was that we weren't getting along. And now that we're best friends, things are gonna be great. Next time on Egoville. <laughs>